Veteran politician Peter Josie was furious after hearing remarks by the Director of Public Prosecution, Victoria Charles Clark, that the contents of the impacts report were not in keeping with the local laws. Josie lamented the fact that the former police commissioner's reputation has been tarnished and he says no amount of money in terms of a settlement would repair the damage done to a man who was one of the most respected senior police officers. Here it is, the DPP has finally let the cat out of the bag. What is going to happen to the police commissioner? I know he might have gotten a good handshake, but his reputation has been tarnished as far as I'm concerned because it is clear to every St. Lucian who can think that Mr. Vernon Francois, who was one of the best liked and effective senior policemen in St. Lucia, the commissioner of police, was compromised. And nothing, nothing, nothing. We want to know what is going to happen to the details of the impacts report. And I believe the, 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 the so-called Crown Prosecutor, the, the DPP, has finally been provoked to saying something. And I'm happy, but I want to know what happens after that. Mr. Josie was forthright in calling for the head of Prime Minister Dr. Kenny Anthony for his handling of the impacts report, referring to the Prime Minister in his terms as the big bad lion that everyone seems to be afraid of. Everybody looks as if Dr. Anthony is a big bad lion. Everybody is afraid of him. But this is our country. And some of us were St. Lucians before him because we were born before him. The director of public prosecution remained tight-lipped on the issue for a long time, but decided to break the silence after coming under fire from housing minister Stanley Felix, who called for her resignation. For the DBS News World, I am Don Nicholas.